Sit, Daisy. Sit. Good girl. You have to see it to believe it. Man's best friend getting her teeth cleaned while she's wide awake. Good girl, Daisy. At, at the vets, they go underneath the gum line, which is a much deeper cleaning. Um, not always necessary for most dogs. I feel that what we do for most dogs is equivalent, and it's a lot safer when you're not using anesthesia. They don't have to be put under. Cindy Collins is the founder of Canine Care. She offers anesthesia-free teeth cleaning for dogs and cats at 650 locations statewide. There's no problem cleaning their teeth. We do thousands and thousands of animals every month, and there are no problems with it. Except one. It's against the law. What Cindy Collins is doing, what Canine Care is doing, is considered illegal under state law? Yes. The state veterinary board says Collins is practicing veterinary medicine without a license and falsely advertising a dental service. The board cited her after a pet owner claimed a canine care hygienist broke her dog's jaw in three places. But in 2004, a judge dismissed the citations because there were no witnesses to the cleaning. But he did rule that Collins was to stop her practice and stop teaching others. Even though it is illegal, you're not really able to stop her. We're not, at this point, we're not able to stop her. Sue Garanin says the vet board can warn consumers, but it doesn't have the authority to shut down canine care. We're not using the scaler on any areas that have nerve endings or anything like that. License vet Rebecca McClellan says using sharp scalers on awake pets is unsafe. Um, I am concerned because pets are unpredictable creatures. She says the practice doesn't address disease or dental health. Even if this is a beautiful white tooth up here, if we have infection, calculi, um, and, and loss of bone, infection of the bone, here this tooth um, will not be viable for very long. Veterinarians acknowledge there is some risk to using anesthesia, but they say it's the only way to see underneath the pet's gum line, which is where your animal's problems could really be. X-rays, probing, and polishing can only be done when pets are under. It's not actually addressing disease. It's just making it look pretty. Board consultant and vet Rich Bennett says the risk of pet death from anesthesia is very low. Probably 0.05 to 0.1 percent. It plays on people's fear of anesthesia. And certainly when I graduated 20 years ago, the anesthetics we used weren't as safe as the ones we use today. Today we use the anesthetics that are used in human hospitals. Still, Collins insists her practice is safe and effective. She says only one cat and one dog have died out of 75,000 clients. In both cases, she says her hygienists were not at fault. No complaints. Zero. The owner of Happy Go Lucky, who receives a portion of the profits from each cleaning, says customers love the $100 service. And we haven't had one negative feedback yet, and it's been a year. It's kind of a wild, wild west out there. It, it can be, yeah. Consumer education is what needs to happen, and that's what we're trying to do. A buyer beware for those four-legged family members. That's a good girl. Vicking Wen, NBC, Bay Area News.